Hey y'all, what's shaking, what's cracking, what's popping? It's your girl, Samaya, also known as Slay Maya. And today we're gonna jump right into this video. I'm gonna show y'all how to do some heat lists. Yes, heat lists, wand curls. How I'm about to do that? Mm-hmm, just keep on watching and you gonna find out, shawty. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is part of my hair. Y'all already know I section off one half and then I section my other half into two and then I split that part into two. Listen, it sounds confusing, but it is what it is. Today we're gonna use the leave-in condition. I think that's my Aunt Jackie's. Miss Jackie's, I'm very sorry. Um, it was very good, but you only need to use a little bit because um, a little bit goes a very, very, very long way. I'm also going to use some argan oil just to top it off. And I also used um, heat protectant, but I don't have that clip. I don't know why. Anyways, y'all have seen me blow dry my hair a lot of times. Um, this is on the cool setting. Um, yeah, but you don't have to use a blow dryer to blow out your hair at all. You can do a stretch state. You could do the style when you have an old wash and go, an old braid out. But since I was just getting out the shower from washing my hair, I decided to blow dry it. So, you know, it, it'll, it's still heatless. It can be toolless as well if you wanted to. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. just a growing so i had to take my twist out um if you want to save time don't do this but i just wanted to see my hair in a blown out state and baby baby your girl's getting some length okay not only is she thick but she had tank time okay swing a ling ling <laughs> yeah i just wanted to say that and show y'all that my hair is growing um if y'all see this picture from my braid tutorial i had no hair now i have so much so yeah Okay, y'all, so here I'm just putting my hair back into those sections that they were in before I unraveled it. Um, and I'm taking, let's say, medium sized sections with a little bit more of the leave in condition by Miss Jackie's. And I'm just gonna twist my hair. It doesn't matter which direction because I did one side one direction and the other side the other. Um, why? It's just because it's more comfortable for me that way. So it really didn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take the twist. And then I'm going to do a bantu knot. And it's different from a regular bantu knot because you twisted it first. Um, also, I do not use any bobby pins or any rubber bands to keep the bantu knot in place. I just keep on wrapping until the little piece of hair like is, is tight, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to explain that much more, but you will feel it when it's tight. Um, here it is again. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you over and over and over and over how to do this because you're gonna do this on your entire head um also if you're enjoying this tutorial so far make sure you subscribe to my channel also i do many tutorials on instagram and you should just follow me on all of my socials so here they go um and yeah i'm gonna let y'all keep watching
Okay, guys, so once you get your whole entire head done, um, you have to see if the style is cute. You know, this is actually a cute style. Um, I would definitely wear this out. <laughs> Anyways, I think I have about 14 bantu knots on my head. Four in the back, four in the back. That's eight, three, and three. That's six, 14. Okay, good math. And then four hours later, I decided to take them out. But of course, you can keep them in overnight. It would probably work best if you kept them in but yeah, this first twist did not go right, but it's okay because the other ones, listen, you see that? You see that? Do you see? Juicy, bouncy, juicy, bouncy, yes. So I'm gonna just take them out. I put some oil on my hands to make sure it doesn't get too crazy. And I'm just gonna put them out. Now I'm just gently separating the twist. Um, I'm making sure they're getting a little loose. I like to shake my head because that loosens up the twist in a weird way. I don't know why that loosens up the twist, but it does. So now I'm gonna go in with actually pulling them apart. Um, they actually look like wand curls. You know, you don't need to put extra heat on your hair to get the wand curl look. You can do this on straight hair, stretched hair, blow dry hair, any kind of hair and it'll still be super duper cute isn't it y'all like this definition the the bounce the the flow i'm just so surprised i'm i'm loving it i really am and that is about it for this tutorial i'm just gonna do a cute style put some bobby pins in it you know turn it up a little bit turn it up a notch and that's it y'all thank you so much for watching this tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you go follow me on my socials and i will see you in the next one bye